Armor 3 has no option for adjusting the field of view in the graphics settings, so if you want to adjust your field of view, you're going to have to edit a couple of lines in a text file. But don't worry, it's not too difficult. The default field of view in Armor 3 is not that big, so a lot of people are going to want to adjust their field of view. Now, if you've only ever had one profile on Armor 3, you've never created any uh, additional profiles, I do highly recommend creating an additional profile. If you play on Armor 3 King of the Hill uh, official servers and you play on Armor King of the Hill hostile takeover servers as well, then it is highly recommended that you have a separate profile for accessing each server as the statistics can be corrupted if you use the same profile to play on uh, both servers as far as I know. Now in order to create a new profile you go up to the top right click on this picture of a person there and there's the three profiles that I've got but yeah I highly recommend creating a new profile if you've only ever had one before. Okay so once you've created your profile if you need to <clears throat> I will show you the files that you need to uh, edit. Exit the game in order to do so I mean you probably don't have to but I uh, highly recommend exiting the game first. Right now in order to find these files uh, open your Windows File Explorer this thing here and there will probably be a shortcut to the document section on the left if you have no shortcut to the document section on the left simply click on C users and look for the username of the Windows profile that you use when you first log into Windows not all computers have multiple profiles but if you someone who say uses a family computer is quite likely that you have a bunch of different profiles Windows profiles on that computer one for each person that uses the computer find the name of the Windows profile that you use double click on it and look for documents and double click on that and uh, as you can see it's just a sh uh, this documents section on the left here is just a shortcut to the exact same folder in Windows see if I click on that it's just the same information as going to see users documents. Now when you're in the documents folder you want to look for Armor 3 other profiles. If you've never created any other profiles you only have the one profile you're going to be looking for just the Armor 3 folder. However if you have created other profiles as I suggested it's going to be under your Armor 3 other profiles folder this uh, file that you're looking for. Now double click on Armor 3 other profiles double click on the username of the profile for which you want to adjust the field of view and the file that you want to adjust is this one here your username dot armor 3 profile you do not want to adjust username dot eden dot armor 3 profile you do not want to adjust username dot vars dot armor 3 profile you want to just edit username dot armor 3 profiles it is highly recommended that you back this file up in case of um, any mistakes as you could seriously mess up your Armour 3 install. So right click, copy, put it somewhere um, where you're not going to use, uh, lose it. I'll just actually make a new folder here because I think it's going to overwrite another one if I do not do that. Paste it there. This way, if you make any mistakes, your Armour 3 um, install stops working after you've messed around with the files, you can just uh, restore this, delete the one that you messed with and restore this file and hopefully it will be working again. Let's go back to this file that I want to edit. Now, once you've backed it up, double click on the, not the backup, but the actual um, profile file that's in the Armour 3 folder. Now you may not have a picture of a uh, notepad icon, you may have, I don't know, um, possibly just a blank image like uh, the JSON file here. Now if the icon doesn't matter too much, if you double click on it and it's asking you to look for an app to open it with, click on more options and go all the way down until you find notepad and open notepad. Click edit, find, and type F O V enter. This is going to take you straight to the FOV uh, lines in the file. They are quite near the bottom. If you just scroll all the way down to the bottom and go up a, up a bit, you'll see where they are. These are the two values which I have got my field of view set to. 
And uh, yeah, as these are the two lines that you need to adjust, FOV top and FOV left. And you can see there the numbers that I've put in to get the field of view that I use. Now I do not recommend simply copying these. There's a tool that you can use that will give you the FOV numbers that you, that you need for your resolution and your required field of view. I will show you that in a minute. There will be a link to that in the description as well. But first of all, I just want to show you if you do not use the Armor 3 Other Profiles folder and you only have um, Armor 3 in your documents and not Armor 3 Other Profiles, then what you want to do, double click on Armor 3. And it's the same deal again, it's the username.armor3profile, not username Eden, not username Vars, but username.armor3profile. Now if you've never created any other profiles and you're going to be using this uh, single profile uh, file that you have here, double click, drag all the way down, but you'll notice this uh, file will have a few extra lines of code at the bottom. But don't worry, uh, the FOV lines of text are still quite near the bottom, so you go all the way down to the bottom and go up a few lines and you'll still see them there. These are the original, the default values. This is what Armour 3 defaults your field of view to, and if you've never adjusted it, these are the numbers that you should see. Right, so what numbers do you replace them with? Well, you're going to have to use this tool that I mentioned um, in order to calculate the values that you want. I will put a link in the description to this tool, but here you put in your resolution values, you put in the um, field of view angle that you require, and you calculate the results, and it'll tell you what number to put in for FOV top and FOV left. So if I put in for an example of 90, calculate the values, FOV top 103, FOV left 1.83. Uh, now go to my profile text file, and I will literally Overwrite the original values with these values here. FOV top 1.03 and FOV left 1.83. Okay, and then you would click save. Okay, and as you can see, there are the uh, values for a 90 degree field of view. 90 is quite high. I would not really recommend going any higher than 90. And you can see, as it says here, must be within 70 and 120 degrees so quite a wide scale on the field of view there the default field of view is quite low in armor 3 it does feel a little bit um, like tunnel vision especially if you're used to playing other games where you can adjust your field of view much more easily and you probably will have done just that why would you actually want to adjust your field of view well you can see a little bit better you have a slightly better situational awareness of your surroundings um, but you don't want to um, increase your field of view by too much as it can look a bit strange and it can actually make it a bit more difficult to hit targets. If you reduce your field of view and then say stretch your image to borderless widescreen, it's actually easier to hit targets as your targets are wider. Now it'll look a bit weird, um, but you know people's heads are going to be fatter as you look at them so they're going to be easier to shoot. You will see some people do this in professional Counter-Strike, however it's not really recommended. Um, it's certainly reducing your field of view is certainly in Armour 3 more of a sniper or DMR user type thing to do. Um, although if you want, you know, if you're only going to be doing sniping and DMRing and never anything else, then maybe you would want to consider that. But I do not advise adjust, uh, I do not advise reducing your field of view. I advise increasing it by a small amount. That small amount that you want to increase it by, well, that's up to you. You're going to have to try different values and, and see how it goes, I think. But basically, the more that you increase the field of view, the further back your viewport of the game is. So by reducing your field of view, things look closer. By increasing it, they look further away. But in terms of the physics calculation in the game, of course, it's the same distance. So that's why. Decreasing the field view makes it easier to hit people, but increasing it, although it makes it easier to see people, it makes it just that little bit harder to hit people, so you've got to get that balance just right. However, I like to get really involved in the battles, I like to get right in the middle of the action, and when you're doing that sort of thing, it's highly recommended that you increase your field of view in order to increase your situational awareness. You'll have a much better idea of what's going on around you at all times. Now I have here a link to another website. I will put this link in the description as well. 
Uh, someone has taken the time to make images of the most common uh, field of view settings that you will see people using. Starts off with the default and gives examples of 90 and 100. And it shows what um, it looks like, not just in first person view, but also while scoped. It also shows what it looks, what it looks like in third person view. And it also shows what it looks like while in vehicles and stuff. So yeah, someone's taken the time to put some pretty good images there. Probably worth checking out, see uh, what sort of um, what it looks like to have an increased field of view. And you might get an idea of some of the numbers that you uh, might like to put in for your angle in the field of view. Sometimes this field of view setting can be reset um, without you actually doing anything. The way to notice whether or not your field of view has been adjusted without you realizing, if you go to third person view, you can tell by how much of the person you can see on the screen. See on the default uh, field of view, it's quite zoomed in. You can't see the uh, either of his knees, let alone his feet. But as you zoom out, you can see more of the um, lower legs of the soldier in third person view. And in first person view, it's a little bit harder to notice, but it's how much of the actual gun you can see. There's been a couple of updates for Armour 3 that after the update, my uh, field of view lines were reset back to the default without me actually doing anything. And uh, there's also been a couple of times when I've been playing the game and I've accidentally mashed a load of keys, put the game into windowed mode while I was actually playing, and that also reset the lines. There are a couple of things that can reset these values without you noticing, so you have to uh, look out for that. Like I say, you get some sort of indication when you're in the game, but if you're not thinking about it, you can uh, it can be changed and you can completely not notice. And yeah, I've done that before, played for like a month or something after my FOV was changed and not noticed. Another way that you can tell um, is when you actually load the game up. Okay, I'm going to load it up now and show you. Is if you go onto the options, choose video, click on the display tab in the middle, and aspect ratio should say custom if you have adjusted your field of view in the way that I've said. If this does not say custom, you may want to double check that uh, the field of view settings have actually been saved correctly and you've loaded the profile for which you have changed the settings, because of course you've got to load that profile up first. But yeah, I hope this information is useful. Thank you very much to the uh, person that did the examples of the different field of views and uploaded the images. That's uh, very, very useful. And of course, thank you very much to whoever made that uh, field of view calculation tool. That's also extremely useful. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hopefully I will see you next time. Take it easy.